Hi, my name is Dev Siagi and I welcome you all to Rapid Leaks. In an age where every passing day men's cricket is flourishing, what about women's cricket? Today I want to tell you about a very special talent from the land of Kane Williamson and the great Sir Richard Hadley, who has made a name for herself in the highest annals of the game, but that has come at the back of a lot of sacrifices and more importantly, absolute commitment into the spiritual powers that be, the Lord my Almighty. To a side where Sophie Devine and Susie Bates bring absolute greatness, in a team where the likes of Emilia Kerr bring the exuberance of youth, in Katie Perkins, there is a strong, dependable batter in the White Ferns' middle order. At Rapid Leaks, we are delighted to present you some interesting facts about the right-handed, talented Aucklander who recently turned 33. So let's move on to the first fact. Starting with the first fact, in a game where statistics are really worshipped. It's pertinent to note that Katie Perkins of Auckland has to this date appeared in 128 international contests, out of which she has wielded a bat for the White Ferns on 99 occasions. Interestingly, out of which she has remained unbeaten or undefeated on 29 separate occasions. Isn't that fantastic for somebody who's also scored, by the way, four half centuries, whose highest score in ODI internationals is 78. Next fact, one of the greatest innings of Katie Perkins' life, and I use the word greatest here with a certain reason, came on 25th of January 2020, just before the world last year would succumb to a period of complete lockdown. The Proteas women were touring New Zealand, and in the first ODI, which ultimately the hosts White Ferns lost, the top scorer, Katie Perkins, made 78 runs of just 83 balls at a strike rate moving north of 92. But what was so special about this innings which was laced by six boundaries? On one hand, she had a broken finger, whilst on the other hand, she was nursing a serious finger injury. In the 11 months prior, she had played a lot of cricket despite the injury on her hands. Moving on to the next fact. Even before Katie Perkins made her debut into the international annals of world cricket, she had almost given up her dreams of chasing a call in the White Ferns team. Why was that? She was losing faith in herself? Something terrible had happened? No. There was a spiritual vacuum that this very bright and able New Zealander was wanting to fill. And it was in April 2011 when she attended an ultimate training camp with other athletes who were devoted to the spiritual powers that be. This, according to Katie Perkins herself, lifted her spirit, elevated herself to a position where she was able to focus herself better. And how was this possible? Because she made God responsible for her cricket. Instead of blindly following a sport and being left disappointed by the results, she collected herself spiritually inside and focused her energies on the Lord so that in Lord's great hands, she would vest and rest her cricketing career. The journey afterwards would result into a maiden call-up in the year 2012, which is when the right-handed batswoman made her debut for the White Ferns. Albeit, the first ODI that she played resulted in a no result. Now, when it comes to uh, New Zealand cricket, we are all aware of the fact that Shane Bond was not just a blisteringly quick fast bowler, but he was also a cop. But guys, did you know that Katie Perkins too happens to be a cop? As a matter of fact, in 2019, she was awarded the Police Association Sports Person of the Year Award. She happens to be a cop in her real life as well. Interesting, isn't it? For a person who's devoted her entire career to cricket. Over to the next fact. Now, most cricketers make amazing records on the field, but only a few actually happen to enter something as elite as the Guinness Book of Records. Now, Katie Perkins, when she was just 24 years of age, actually happened to enter the Guinness Book of Records. And what did she exactly do? she actually caught under a time span of 60 seconds, 33 tennis balls. Do you think that's ordinary? I'll tell you why that is extraordinary. The fact that all the tennis balls that she was able to masterfully capture in her hands were fired at her at the speed of 100 kilometers per hour. If that is not a testament to her agility and her great reflexes, then I ask you, what is? But I want to ask you a question now before I move on to the final fact. Are statistics and records the only measure of true greatness? Or could it be that giving back to the society, the community which has enabled you to become the person that you eventually turn out to be, 
also measures your true standing in life? And if so, then Katie Perkins could well be one of the finest ambassadors of the human spirit. How is this? In her native New Zealand, she is part of the Pataka Kai movement. What does this do? This provides food redistributed to the underprivileged. Those people who hail from the financially weak or financially challenged sections of society. If you actually track her on social media, one in every three posts on Katie Perkins' life would revolve around giving back to the society. Whether it is encouraging girls to wield the bat, hold the bowl, or contributing to the underprivileged. Generating a cause, a meaningful voice of reason for those for whom not many people stand. A remarkable cricketer, a committed middle order batswoman, somebody who has represented New Zealand at the highest annals in several World Cups, be it 50 over cricket or T20 international cricket, somebody who's batted with broken fingers and barely been able to bat and yet scored a highest ODI score. And at the end of the day, somebody who really stands true to the meaning in life that it is not just about the runs scored or the wickets taken, but how much faith do you vest in God? What is your spiritual connection with the powers that be? Katie Perkins, we salute your spirit and importantly, we admire the camaraderie and your sense of devotion to the society and the immediate world around you. Because it is easy to live for oneself, to glorify one's own achievements, but rare it is to find people who always continue to help the people around oneself. For a small girl who grew up playing backyard cricket to a girl who's now rubbing shoulders with the likes of Stefani Taylor, Meg Lanning, Elise Perry, Mitali Raj, Smithy Mandana, Shafali Verma, and the list is countless. You've come a long way and you've inspired countless lives around you. Wishing you a very happy belated birthday. And I hope all of you watching this video enjoy this video. Spread a word around K Katie Perkins because she's one person who truly deserves it. This was Dave Siagi signing out for Rapid Leaks. Cheers.